um, at that at that that year at the end of the year uh, the Prince of Wales Hotel which was called the Prince of Wales Hotel only 16 rooms and it had uh, it was in receivership um, and so we my dad my mom and myself and my uncle um, uh, Mr. Weeb from Germany um, he was he was doing very well in the uh, the, bl- the women's blouse industry and so he had uh, he was very wealthy and so he would be a silent partner and so um, we toured it at Christmas uh, the first year I was at Ryerson and uh, we said it would be it would be great family business to, to get into mom could do the books from both places I could manage and my dad could still stay at Lincoln upholstering and, and do that because and I, that's the industry I really wanted to get into, right? I was a year already at Ryerson. And we hired two um, gentlemen from Toronto to manage it. And so that's how that all unfolded. Um, I, was, I finished my school at my Ryerson that, that uh, April and started working in the kitchen and in the bar and all that, learning the whole business. And they were there um, uh, setting it up. And or, or managing it today. And it was Nicholas Pierce and David Barrett who went on. They only stayed there till really to Christmas. They were there for maybe 11 months. That's all they were. And uh, and they went on from that, from the Prince of Wales, they went on to Fenton's, open up Fenton's and uh, a couple of other really good restaurants in Toronto. So they got us off to a really good start. But I don't know... I don't think Niagara Lake was for them, and Niagara Lake wasn't. They weren't for Niagara Lake type of thing, and so and the Shaw Festival had uh, had just got the main stage going there in 1973, and we bought in 1975, Easter 1975. We opened up, so it was getting busier and busier. So um, we started right there with the um, um, oh, and so they left at Christmas of 1975, and. Uh, I had to quit school because then I had to come in and manage. I had to be the the day-to-day manager. 